Hi, my name is Emma Mildenhall from the Rundry Woiwurrung Cultural Heritage Aboriginal Corporation. I would like to say welcome to everyone in Woiwurrung language. Wurundjika Wurundjeri Balak Yimin Kundibik, meaning welcome to the land of the Wurundjeri people. I am a proud Aboriginal woman. My tribe is Wurundjeri Woiwurrung, being Melbourne's CBD and surrounding country. We are a part of the Kulin Nation, which consists of the five following tribes. Wurundjeri, Wathurong, Tanarong, Boonwurrung and Jarjarwurrung. I'd like to pay my respect to my ancestors, also to elders past, present and emerging. I'd like to acknowledge all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people here attending today. And I would also like to pay my respect to your elders. Today, known as Australia Day, <coughs> also known as Invasion Day, Survival Day, Day of Mourning, a public holiday to celebrate Australia, living in Australia, being Australian and so on. However, Australia Day has an extremely traumatic history for Aboriginal people. It marks the day that Australia was not founded, but stolen. Stolen with mass death of Aboriginal people. The trauma did not end on this day though. It had only just begun. What to follow was missions, slavery, the taking of children, Aboriginal people being classed as fauna and flora until the 70s. Our culture was impacted to near cultural extinction. We are reviving our beautiful culture and paying our respects to our ancestors before us. So please take a moment to reflect on Aboriginal history and its impacts on Aboriginal people for today, January the 26th. My Aboriginal ancestry is William Barrick and his sister Annie Borat. My grandmother, Martha Margaret Nicholson, Nana's maiden name prior to marriage, being Terrick, was delivered by her grandmother, Jemima, on Corrindirk Aboriginal Mission near Hillsville. My great-great-grandmother taught my grandmother the importance of family, culture and caring for one another. My grandmother married my Irish grandfather, called Patrick, and they had 16 children. My auntie Patricia Ockwell is the eldest sibling, and my mother, Georgina Nicholson, is the youngest, also an elder and newly appointed board member for Wurundjeri Corporation. I'm so grateful to be here today and welcome everyone. Aboriginal people have lived off this land, including hunting and gathering and cared for country for a very long time, being one of the oldest living cultures, Australia's traditional owners. We have a strong connection to the land and waters and a strong passion to care for it, including the fauna and flora. Prior to settlement, we had practices to care for country that is still relevant today and my people are active today such as being a part of fire prone areas and waterways protection along with restoring waterways not only as an obligation and a right but also as a privilege. Whilst the date remains I hope that you all enjoy your public holiday here today at this event. I would also like to thank you all for having me a part of it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How lovely is it to actually be here right now, this early in the morning, very early for all of us, but to actually be here together and experience the sunrise in this way. Today is a day that stirs up a lot of different emotions for a lot of different Australians in a lot of different ways, as Emma has just highlighted. And it's really important to acknowledge that and also acknowledge the diversity of our cultures and the things we need to learn and listen, which is what a lot of today is going to be about as we continue on, which is going to be really wonderful. The Heart of Acknowledgement Day 2022 comes from the true connection to our earth and an understanding of the deep relationship we have with the places on which we work and live. To celebrate consciousness, we reflect, we respect, we celebrate, and we're all part of that story, which is very important and something I thought that would be nice to do just to take a moment is since we've been here, we've been reflecting here early in the morning. If everyone would just like to share, if anyone would like to, if you don't want to, that's absolutely okay. But what it's meant for you this morning to come out here and to actually see this beautiful sunrise. For me, um, I don't remember the last time I saw a sunrise like this. To have a group of people, I don't know everyone here and to actually come together, to come for this beautiful walk to an area that I didn't even know and 
and see this beautiful sunrise. The connection to country is so important and is something we need to remember, especially I'm, I'm from Italian descent, um, so I'm not one of the traditional owners of this land or connected to that in any way, shape or form. And that connection to country that I often hear about when um, Indigenous people are talking about their culture is something I think I understand and then a moment like this lets me see it in a whole new light. So let's just take a moment and if anyone would like to just share any of the thoughts they've had while we've been watching the sunrise, that would be lovely. I'm happy to say that I just wanted to say thank you to Emma who gave us a different perspective. And I think calling it Acknowledgement Day is a much better way to celebrate this day. Mm. I also think just acknowledging that we all have a connection to land. When we do have one through Italy, we all have a connection to places where we grew up, a sense of place, and it's really important for how we manage our lives going forward. So these sorts of celebrations are really important across the whole spectrum of Australia. My thought was a little bit out of left field, but uh, a sun, it's not really the sun rising, we're moving towards it. And so <laughs> if we can move towards it together, I think that means quite a bit. I like that. That's good. Yeah. I just really feel a sense of gratitude for, for the land and for the gathering here today. It's really, it's really a beautiful morning. Say as an aside, but we're part of a number of us here from a Rotary clubs and uh, part of a district of 2,100 Rotarians. I'd love to share those words uh, even today with uh, the whole 2,100 Rotarians. We have a regular newsletter twice a month. I'd love to share it today because I think there's really so much in what we said today. So, so after after this, I'd love to uh, see if I get a copy of what we said and, and amplify the message. I think that's one of the lovely things about today, like Acknowledgement 2022, we're going to be, you know, and the fact that Rotary have made this happen is, is really wonderful. And the diversity that today is going to bring and the stories we're going to hear are very important and kind of, isn't it lovely, the sun is just shining even more as we, as we begin the day. It is, it just, I just saw all the light shine across all of your faces and it's just a really lovely way to begin the day. And even though, yes, we all got up very early <laughs> uh, and came from very different places and spaces from all around Victoria. Can I show off? I actually came from Ballarat this morning. You came from Ballarat? I thought I was doing it. I've been renovated in Melbourne, so I've been a big trip. And, and I sort of also think days, times like this, as you can see why the sun is so critical to the Australian uh, flag. Mm, mm, the red, the, the vivid colours. Why don't we all just take a moment to reflect on some of the words that have been said.